very strange time, right? Very strange time in history. I've never experienced anything like it. Anyway, this video is not talking about the coronavirus. This is an update of my search for the perfect travel guitar and some other things. The Martin Backpacker was the one I was going to go for. I phoned the guitar center and asked them, do they have one in stock? And they said, yes. So I said, great, I'm going to come by and buy it. And they said, hold on a second. And off they went, they looked and he said, someone bought it while I was on my way to the store and no one realized that it was on hold for me, which is fantastic because they're crap. <laughs> Or at least that's what I hear. Then I decided I was going to get this one, right? And you twist that and look, it folds up into a tiny and you put the... <laughs> right? Looks kind of weird. And see, it's not, it's missing the... And then from there, I found the Snapdragon. And that also folds this one. So let's see. Oh, here's another one. Look how small that is. Wow. Can you see it? Тем не менее, у компании Enigik вроде как это получилось. The new Gitler guitar. What? With no fretboard. That's crazy. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. Whoa. No way. Start sending yourself off with the mic. Yes, hi. I'm wondering if you've got a Yes. It is it. Thank you. Good morrow. That's a guitar. Thank you. How's it going? Hi. This is the one I told you about. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, you guys send me pictures of it. I will. Okay. This is gonna work. Then arrived my amp, a small Roland, what's it called? A small Roland amp. It has two inputs for a guitar and a vocal. It will allow me to have house concerts. Do you remember them? House concerts? Who knows how long it'll take before this goes back to normal. Normal? I think we need a new normal though, don't you think? The air pollution over Italy and all and over China and perhaps around the world uh, is improving. We're not flying around so much. We're not burning the fossil fuels. History shows us that we don't really learn from our mistakes. But just because something hasn't happened doesn't mean it can't, doesn't mean it won't. And this is unprecedented, right? We're all feeling it now. Anyway, back to the lighthearted video. I came home today and look what was delivered to me. You're a good neighbor to have. Yeah, okay, thanks. That's neighborly, right? Look how small it is. I also bought a camping chair. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Is it perfectly comfortable? Mm. No. <laughs> That's good, we've got leaves moved from there to there. Yay! <sighs> While I'm waiting for that leaf blower to finish, I'll continue reading the book that I was reading with my students before Spring break, fantastic book. Island of the Blue Dolphins. Isn't that how we all feel a bit? Chapter 15. 
I'll tell you something. I was stocked up on food and I had enough toilet paper. No, I'm not the one that did all the buying, but I had enough. You know why? Because Richard told me, Mo, get out there. This is happening. And I'm going, yeah, I, well, get out there, go and shop, get your supplies, get your water. I didn't get my water. Your school is going to close down. I said, well, yeah, maybe after the spring break. No, your school is closing. Maybe today, you know. Anyway, I was um, warned. Richard has his finger on the pulse of what's going on. It's Friday the 13th, 2020. This is the day that people, I think, suddenly realized this coronavirus is uh, changing everything. This was the day people couldn't find vegetables. All my gigs got canceled. Um, festivals, my stuff with Terry Allen, my stuff with Ryan Bingham. I'm heading out. I'm gonna go to the mountains. I'm gonna go get some exercise and breathe some fresh air. Fiddling mandolin and a small amp and my effects. So I'm prepared to play and camping gear and a whole bunch of food. Everybody take care of you. Bye, Mo. Bye, Richard. I'm getting rid of stuff day by day. There's still lots of stuff around here I don't need. All the energy it took to make this junk that I have, you know? I do want to simplify. More so now than ever, even. Am I still going to be living in my car? Yeah. Why? Because well, I don't know. And my job is not that secure, I've realized. So I want to have less that can be taken away from me. It sounds like a defeatist attitude, but it's not. It's a way to defeat the uh, environmental problem. Problem, not the euphemism. <sighs> yeah. Okay, back to lighthearted, back to silly, flippant, back to the jokes I like to make.